We're going to perform a traction prone, the patient holding herself with her hands, and we're going to put a pelvic brace for her pelvis. The advantage of that approach is basically the patient is monitoring the tension. So it's way safe. And if she has any pain, obviously she will let it go. So it's a good way to proceed to start up a decompression on a patient. So I've placed the pelvic brace here. I've tensed the belt here so we don't have any slack. And I'm going to gently wrap her in it to fix her well. There you go. Now the next thing is I want to lower that piece. Very good, it's low. So she can rest her arm on it. And I'm going to set up this section so it's quite comfortable for her. So we want it semi-bent and here. And I can ask her, would you prefer it to be like that? Probably she would. So we're going to gently raise her up. <clears throat> and I'm going to start the traction from the pelvis. And I can have a straight axial traction. I can have an axial traction with flexion, or I can have solely a flexion. So let's try right now with only the axial traction. And because she holds herself with her arm, she can monitor that traction extremely well. And like precedently supine, I can put flexion. And I can put flexion and distraction combined. One of the advantage of having a chiropractic table performing also decompression, it's the ability to use a drop while the patient is either in actual traction or either in flexion or either both of them. And that enhances the treatment and we have correction that otherwise we could not have. So let's test it. So we're going to have an axial traction on this patient, followed by a light flexion. I'm going to kick up the drop, and gently, I'm going to use it. And we will have much higher effectiveness this way, using a drop while the patient either is in motion, in traction, or in flexion. The patient will self-control the tension that she has. The patient is prone. She's going to hold down the handle and she, we attached a ankle on the bottom of the pelvic section here, the footrest. So the traction is going to come from the feet and she's going to monitor this traction, the intensity of the traction by holding herself. The motion that we can have is straight axial distraction, flexion only, or axial distraction and flexion. So this is the axial distraction, and then comes the flexion. We can separate them or have them jointly like here. The patient is in decompression for the lumbar, and we have two type of anchorage this time. We have the thoracic, upper thoracic anchored on this strap, the pelvis anchored on this strap, and we're going to create a distraction at the level of the lumbar. Her knee are slightly bent, and we have lowered the hand support here to make her more comfortable. 
the headpiece section is in alignment with the rest of the spine. So this table is going to allow us to have first an axial distraction, and at the end of axial distraction, we go in flexion to open up the disc on the posterior aspect. So we can have either one of them working, only axial distraction, only flexion distraction, or both of them together. And we can also make it incremental, so any of those sections can increase slowly, come back, and go, go a little further, come back, go a little further, etc. This is a treatment that's going to use a combination of axial traction, flexion, and drop in the same time. And we, we, we use that for sway back when you have an increase in the lumbar lordosis and usually an anterior based sacrum. So we're going to position the patient on this table. We're going to attach him at the level of the ankle. The table is relatively flat. We're going to ask the patient to grip that hand so he can monitor it. And we're going to raise those armrests so he's very comfortable like that, okay? And then I program to have a, a few side cord here. I'm going to put the automatic, non-automatic drop on the pelvis <clears throat> and I start. So I take my contact at the sacral apex and I'm going to wait for the table to go all the way, all the way down and then to traction in the same time. And I kick my drop and done. And I can do that a few times. So let the table come back. And at the same time, he's pulling slightly with the arm and we have a much greater effect. Okay, the table pulled down. I am on the sacral apex with the calcaneron hand. Beautiful. There you go. 